Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Bear Mattress. I'm going to be telling you a lot about this mattress, running it through a number of tests, giving you the pros, the cons, letting you know who I think this is going to be a good fit for, so stay tuned. All right, first things first, if you have any specific questions, all you have to do is leave a comment below, and I can also give you a personal recommendation as well. So we have the Bear Mattress. It's marketed towards athletes, so potentially there's some certain aspects of this mattress that can help you recover from a tough workout better, so that could be potentially pretty cool. They also have a hybrid mattress, which I've reviewed as well. I've actually reviewed this mattress before, and I just wanted to give my updated thoughts, so I've decided to jump in and give it another try. Let's talk about what's inside of the Bear Mattress. Starting with the cover, we have a nice soft cover, What's unique about this cover, it has salient woven into it, which studies, credible studies show that it can bring you potentially certain health benefits, um, a cooler night of sleep, uh, improved blood circulation, things of that nature. I can't really speak to that, but there are some potential health benefits. Moving on to the mattress now, we have a pretty standard base layer. You're gonna see this in a lot of other all foam mattresses. Then we have on top here, graphite gel memory foam. So what's interesting to note is it's gonna sleep much cooler than your average memory foam. Um, and also it's gonna be faster to respond. So it doesn't really have that slow responding memory foam feel. Underneath that we have basically the same material, but this is gonna be softer than that. It's a poly foam and has some good bounce and so some latex light qualities. Given that it's below the memory foam, you're gonna have some nice pressure relief here, but you're not gonna get that feeling of getting stuck because of the uh, progressively firmer layers here that are a little bit more responsive. So overall, you have a very soft layer that has nice pressure relief, a softer kind of latex-like layer, and then a firmer uh, layer that's the same material as that, and then a pretty standard base layer. So I think overall, with these two pretty Pretty soft top layers. You should have pretty good pressure relief when you're on your side. Stick around later, we're gonna show a pressure map test that shows exactly how well this mattress relieves pressure. You're not gonna get the feeling of getting stuck, so you get a little bit of memory foam feel, but not too much. And it should sleep cool as well. Let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I'm gonna put this mattress at about a six and a half out of 10, 10 being the firmest. The reason I feel that way is we have a very soft top layer, pretty soft second layer, but then it gets pretty firm underneath that. So when you combine that all together, you get about a six and a half out of 10. As far as the feel is concerned, you get a memory foam feel with that memory foam on top, but it's faster to respond than most memory foam. So put my hand in and take it away it's gonna recover, return to shape very quickly. So you're not gonna get that feeling of getting stuck, but you're gonna get pretty good pressure relief at the same time. As far as balance is concerned, there's not a lot. I'll show you with this lacrosse ball. You can see it dies. So not a ton of bounce. So you get a little bit of that memory foam feel, uh, but not too much of it. I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions, starting on my back. First thing I notice is that my hips sink in a little bit, but not too much. I do feel that the foam is conforming to the curves of my body. I do feel proper support in this position. And I think most people of any weight range will feel pretty good back support when they're on their back. Switching to my side, I do feel pretty good pressure relief. You can feel the memory foam a little bit. So for someone of my weight, I think it's actually a good match on the side as well. I think if you're a bit heavier than me, you might think it's a little bit firmer and that you might press through those top soft layers and hit some firmer layers underneath that. So bigger people might have a little bit of pressure on their side. Switching onto my stomach now, I think it's a little bit too soft for me. I do feel my hips sinking down in, my, my back's kind of bowing a little bit. So I think uh, stomach sleepers might want something a little bit firmer. I want to give you a visual representation of where you might feel pressure points on this mattress. I've got a pressure map here. I'm going to lie down on my back, side, and stomach, and you're going to see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. The only thing to note is if you have a different body type than me, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe is 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I have a different body type. You should think about that when you're looking at a mattress. So we have the Bear mattress here today. Joe said this was a 6.5 out of 10. I said it was a 7 out of 10, a little bit firmer. 
So starting on my back in terms of how I feel in different positions, I feel pretty good overall support. My hips go in just a little bit, but not too far. So I feel pretty nice on my back. Moving on to my side, you'll see my pressure map there. There's a little bit of redness on my shoulders and my hips. Definitely feel a little bit of pressure there. It's not too much, but I definitely think I need a little bit more softness there. Moving on to my stomach, I definitely need more overall support. I kind of bow in at my hips. I feel my kind of spine getting out of alignment there. So I definitely need more support in that position. So if you're a heavier person and you're a back sleeper, good fit on the bear. If you're a side sleeper, it might be just a little bit too firm depending on your preferences. And then on your stomach, you definitely need more overall support. We get a lot of questions from people who sleep with a partner. They want to know if their partner's moving around that side of the bed. Is that motion going to transfer over to them and disturb them at night? Call that motion transfer. Test that, we have a glass here. I'm gonna get down and kind of roll around. You can see how the glass reacts. You can see it's not moving too much. Got memory foam on top, so that makes sense. So I'm gonna create a little disturbance as well. With my hands, see it's doing a pretty good job of isolating motion. I also had Martin from my team kind of jump in and out of bed, kind of move around, uh, make a disturbance. I didn't really feel that motion transfer over to me too much, so I feel like this is a good option for couples. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you may want to consider something we call it edge support. Now this is an all foam mattress. There's no special edge support system in this mattress. You can see that the foam is collapsing. So it's not really the best, but I'm going to lie down on my back towards the edge of the bed. I don't really feel like I'm going to fall off too much, but again, I don't think edge support is one of the best characteristics of this mattress. Let's talk about some of the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. I think this is a great fit for back and side sleepers. So on my side, the pressure relief was very good. Uh, I just felt like the pressure sort of melted away. It was the right softness as well. But on my back, I still felt very good support. So I feel it's a very good match for back and side sleepers. Also, if you are looking for sort of a memory foam feel, but you're worried about sleeping hot or the feeling of getting stuck, they've done a very good job of addressing that here with the ceiling cover and that graphite gel infusion. Uh, so I thought that was really nice. And they do have this salient cover, so there are some credible studies that show that potentially this actually could be um, good for athletes. Let's talk about some of the cons of this mattress or who I think this mattress may not be the best fit for. Number one, uh, stomach sleepers. I think you probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive to make sure you don't kind of bow in on the mattress. Also, if you're looking for something that's firmer than average, we put this at about just a straight up medium, so six and a half out of 10. So if you'd like something that's a little bit firmer than average, I would probably look somewhere else. The last thing to note is that this particular mattress that we got, the presentation wasn't that great. I really like the feel overall, but just kind of the look of the mattress overall um, wasn't, wasn't the best, so that's just something to note as well. So we get a lot of emails asking us to compare the Bear to the Casper mattress, so I thought I would just touch on that here. There are distinct construction differences. For example, the Bear does have a ceiling cover, the Casper does not. The Casper has zone construction where it's firmer in the middle of the mattress um, and softer in the, the top and the tail of the mattress. That's not the case with the Bear. The Bear does use memory foam on top, whereas Casper uses it in the second layer. So there are construction differences. And as far as firmness is concerned, it's pretty similar. I put the, the Bear at about six and a half out of 10. The Casper is six out of 10. So if you're a side, back, stomach sleeper, I can't really say you should get one over the other. I think it really just comes down to the type of feel that you want. You get more of a memory foam feel from the Bear um, just because you have that, that top layer is memory foam versus in the second layer of the Casper, which is more of a balanced foam feel. So it's really more of the type of feel that you want rather than just saying, if you're a side sleeper, you should get this versus the other. So just figure out the type of feel that you want. Then I think the decision should be pretty clear. Wanted to give you some additional information about the Bear Mattress. You get free shipping and returns. You have a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty. There's also financing available. So if you're cash strapped, you don't want to make one lump sum. You can make smaller monthly payments. They also have a bunch of accessories available and they just came out with a hybrid mattress recently as well. So there are two options now as well. All right, to wrap up, I think there's a lot to like about the Bear Mattress. There's some pretty cool qualities to it. I think it's a great fit for back and side sleepers. I think there are some credible studies that show that the ceiling cover can bring you certain health benefits. So that's really cool as well. I think if you're a stomach sleeper, you probably want something a little bit firmer. But overall, I think a lot of people are going to like this mattress. So that's basically it. If you're just getting started with your research, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a list of our top picks, you can simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress and let me know if you have any questions.